Good morning. We are headed out on our first snow recovery of the season and I am excited but a little bummed out at the same time because we are not taking the track jeep. We are taking the pickup and if you're wondering why it's because I like to make questionable decisions that will usually end up biting me in the ass later. So we're going to unhook this trailer, leave this here which might be a bad idea and just take the pickup. Now, after all the work to set this Jeep up on the tracks, it really wasn't that much work. It was just bolting the tracks on. But after doing all of that, why would we leave it here? Uh, it's because we're going to get a travel trailer uh, that is way out in the Umpqua National Forest. Uh, a gentleman was out there camping uh, before the snowstorm. Snowstorm came, went to head out. Headed out while he was still good to go, no problem. But the four-wheel drive on his truck went out and quit working. So he was stuck in two-wheel drive trying to pull a travel trailer through the snow. Didn't make it, was able to get the trailer unhooked and get himself out of there and back to safety, but had to leave the travel trailer behind. So we're taking that truck and we're gonna go try to get it hooked up to his trailer, towed out of there, and then all the way back up north here to uh, his house, uh, which is about an hour from me. The job we're going to is probably three hours away and uh, get his trailer back home for him before the big snowstorm sets in two days from now that would render that trailer stuck there for the entire season. So a little bit of a time sensitive job, basically it's today and tomorrow and then it's game over for that trailer. So we're gonna get this trailer unhooked. Probably shouldn't leave this here, but we're going to and head out. And so for all the people who were asked if I was gonna upgrade the steering on this Jeep since I put the tracks on it, uh, as I showed in the walk around video of this Jeep, it already has all one ton steering on it and hydraulic assist in it. So this Jeep is completely ready for the tracks without having to do anything to it. All I did was unbolt the tires, bolt the tracks on. It is that simple. And for those of you wondering why I didn't put the tracks on this Jeep like I said I was going to, I am going to. But the last video you saw this Jeep in was last winter when I blew the transfer case and got myself stranded out in the woods. And if you look under here, you will see, where is it? I'm on the wrong side of the Jeep. There we go. The transfer case is still broken. That is because uh, when I got back home out of the woods finally after that long day, I parked this thing over there in the corner and uh, it stayed there till now. I did pull it in the shop like four days ago to change the transfer case, put the tracks on it, but it was covered in like six inches of snow and the snow was just raining down on me and I got frustrated. So I brought it up here, parked it in here so the snow could melt off. Now it's dry. Now I can pull it back in the shop and uh, get the transfer case changed and the tracks will go on that Jeep. But I do also want to run them on that Jeep for a bit because like, come on, doesn't that look cool? All right, let's uh, quit screwing around and get to work. All right, thanks to Movie Magic, unhooked, let's go. So we are up here in the Umpqua National Forest area. We got Tom here, it's his trailer going to get. We got Zach in the back, uh, he's gonna do some filming for us. And winter is definitely here, so uh, we're gonna head out here a little ways farther, see if we can find this trailer. It does look a little Christmassy. Yes, it does. It is beautiful out here. So we are off the main road, off the highway. We're heading up the mountain now. It's about, oh, about another two miles to the cutoff. Then we take a right and go about another three miles and take another right and quarter mile <laughs> then we're there <laughs> so we got a bit <laughs> up here camping and uh we didn't really get serious about the big snowstorms that are coming in and uh just within overnight we were we were already sopped in lost four-wheel drive windshield wiper <laughs> <laughs> windshield wiper too <laughs> So you left when you thought you could make it out with four-wheel drive, yeah. but then ended up not having four-wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thought I was a goner. Yeah, this would have been fun trying to pull that camp trailer out from two-wheel drive. <laughs> Especially yesterday when this is all still snowy. Oh man, yeah. Good bits probably melted off today. Quite a bit of it has. 130 and it's, uh, well it's 32 degrees so we're still right at freezing, but yeah. a lot of this has been in the sun all day. Yeah, my buddy, he's, he's pulling in there. 
Oh, he's still out here camping? Yeah. I'll go this way so that he can pull up there. So this is two and five sixteenths? Huh? Two and five sixteenths? That's what's going Yeah. Two okay. Five Perfect. So a lot of snow melted out of here. Yeah, it has. I still wouldn't want to try to get out of here two wheel drive, but. <laughs> so we're going to throw the hitch on, clean off the camera so we can see, and hook up to it. All right, that's good. If we pull the ones out of the front, we can lower the jack down, and then we can get the ones out of the back easy. Sweet. There we go. There we go. We'll be out of here in no time. Why do you gotta say things like that? <laughs> do you not know how this works? <laughs> gotta make things interesting somehow, don't we? No, you don't. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, but when things go wrong, it makes a better video. It's like, yeah, but I would rather it just go smoothly than make a better video. <laughs> it's going to be such a short video, though. I'm okay with that if everything goes smoothly. Valid. Not everything needs to be a disaster to make a good video. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that part does help, but I would rather it not be a disaster and not be a great video than be a disaster where everything goes wrong just to make it a better video. <laughs> Yeah. You probably have a lot more subscribers if it was a constant disaster. But I'm okay with that. It's realistic. Sometimes things go smoothly. Yeah. I'm do this the right way since if I don't, everybody on the camera will get mad at me. And then the trailer will fall off and then it will be a good video. <laughs> I'm sure there is still someone who will say I'm doing this wrong somehow. They'll email me, they'll text me, they'll complain that the safety chains are touching the ground when they aren't. That's okay. Oh, they'll tell me you're not supposed to twist the chains. That's going to be a said for sure. And why is that? Is that just because they're more susceptible to breaking or something? Technically, yes. Practically, no. You got somewhere you put the blocks, you want me to throw them in the back of the truck? Just throw them in the back of the truck there. And then and and he's take sitting those there. two keyways there. Okay. And then we got other jacks and everything out of the back of it. Nope. I think we got everything out from under it right now. We're all set? Nope. I've got those all okay. I think we should be clear to go. Alright. I'll uh I'll pull off of these blocks over here. And then we'll I'll just pull up here where it's a little more flat. We got lights? Mm-hmm. All right, we got all our lights and everything. Good to go by, golly. We are set. Do you got uh, everything on the inside where it'll travel? Yes, sir. Got or everything all taped down and taped down and on the floor, so we're good to go. Perfect. This is going to be about, like, right here by, like, Sunday. Exactly, yeah. So that's why this has to come out of here now, because after Sunday, it'll be about here. And it's only going to get deeper from there until springtime. He's going to load. He's going to watch him load okay. out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll make sure, yeah, he's good to go too. Then we ready. Is that a hand crank wiper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Hey, it works good. Do you see that? Well, that's sweet. It's got a little handle on the side. You crank the wiper <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> that is awesome. Good to go. There we go. Yeah, it's like it's built for it. It's 
a hokey invention, but it works. Those are the best kind. <laughs> you bet. That'll work. All right, man. I guess we're going to hit the road, Larry. Give her. What color are our fir trees? Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm being tricked. I was. <laughs> I was, too, whenever I saw it. They're green, right? Yeah. They're green? Yeah. You want to see one that's red? Yes. Look at that one right over there. Oh! You look like dead. It's not dead. It's red. It's, it, is, <laughs> it is living. That is so cool. Yep. So this is a live tree, not a... It, it's alive. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh yeah, it's not dried out, brittle. No, uh-uh. I've never seen It's still got... Yeah. I mean, uh, the reason the reason the bark is off of there is because those little squirrels, the little chipmunks yeah. and stuff, they go uh, eat the bark chewing. off. They somebody, off. somebody on there will tell us why this is red. Probably like five people will. One of them will probably be right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to prove to yeah. prove to Who's you that that's, that that's not uh, that's a real tree. There's a baby one right over yeah. there. There's a baby one coming up. Oh, I see. Yeah. A little another yeah. little red one. <laughs> Yeah, that's fascinating. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever that's seen one that embarrassed, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been up here. Is that the color you were when you couldn't get out of here <laughs> yeah, in your truck? Exactly. <laughs> All right, Tom. Be careful, and I'll hear from you. Okay, for sure, man. All right. Okay. Okay. You got a whip from here. Oh, yeah. Okay, made it back to some pavement. <laughs> I think the front of your trailer is going to need a washing when it gets home. It always does after a camping <laughs> yeah. trip. Always does. You guys want to see a really cool view? I can see that on your camera there. Yeah. The whole cliff like totally overhangs the road. That'd be a bad time for earthquake. <laughs> it would be. Okay, we are up on top of Cascade Summit now. It's just a hair under 6,000 feet elevation, and this road is dead straight all the way down to like probably 2,000 feet or so. Yeah, it's uh, 11 and a half miles of straight stretch. Yeah, there ain't a turn one in it all the way down this mountain. And uh, all winter long, it will be this, this packed ice. The, the camera won't even show how far out that goes in a straight line. But it is a long, long way. You can barely see a car light way. Yeah, back you see headlights way at the bottom. Yeah. It's like a ski slope all the way down. Slick tires it is. <laughs> That's cool. All right, we made it back to Highway 97. We just dropped 1,500 to 2,000 feet in elevation in a straight line all the way to the stop sign. All right, we stopped at the truck stop here in Chamalt. Thank you. We are going to get some lunch from Subway over there. Uh, me and Zach are. Tom's not hungry, so he's waiting in the truck. We're going to get some snacks, lunch, and hit back the road. All right, we got our lunch and our munchies. We're going to get back in the truck. We got another hour or so until we drop off the trailer, and then about an hour home. Here, that'd be perfect. Sweet. Okay. That work right there? Perfect. All right. That's perfect. Yes, sir. the blocks in the back of the truck here still, so. Okay. Oh, 
I would do it the cheater way, but that would totally screw you tomorrow when you go to actually back it in there. <laughs> cheater way is just I put the blocks under it, then I lower the lift down and pull out of, pull out of here. No problem at all. She'll live on that one. All right, we're clear. You didn't even need the lift. All right, well, that works for you right there? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, well, that's you're perfect. all set. And here you go. Oh, don't worry about it. No, here, get you a couple of hamburgers or something. There's your pay for the day. Thanks so much. <laughs> I just wanted to show you, I appreciate it, man. No problem at all. Appreciate Glad to help it. out. You guys take care. Pleasure to meet you. You Same too, you have a good man. one. All right, we got his trailer dropped off. Uh, that turned out to be really easy to get out of there. Uh, a lot of the snow melted since yesterday, which made it no problem, but I still wouldn't want to risk driving down there with my truck that had the front end going out, hoping that snow was melted. So I think you made the right call. Uh, easy job, cool dude. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna head back home and go drop Zach off, eat the rest of my sandwich, and we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See you later.